<laughs> Never a dull moment, I swear. Look, I can see the reflection of your panic. <laughs> good. It's all good. Uh, no. <laughs> it would not be sketchy oh without a little God. bit of problems. You are hysterical. A little bit of problems, technical difficulties. It all makes it fun. So funny. It all makes it interesting and fun, doesn't it? Does it? Does yeah. it, though? Sure. What do you got going on? Hey, just a shout out to uh, awesome people over at Graphic Disorder who yes. do our hats. Oh, my gosh. New hats are in. Graphic Disorder, if you're looking for some cool... Screen printing, uh, they, I think they do it all. Embroidery. Um, embroidery, all of it, stickers, all that stuff. This is a really cool sticker, by the way. Um, check out graphicdisorder.com yeah. for yeah. all your needs that way. Um, Super quick, too. And they, they even said that it would take a little bit, and we got them pretty quick. So Yeah, pretty happy with them. Hats are in, $25. Hats are in, 25 bucks. New hats, Johnny Jalopy trucker hats. Available. Hey, look what, what look what we're drawing. What are we drawing? Jeep. What? Military Jeep. This is episode thirty-one. How symbolic. I don't get it. I, just kidding. There's no symbolism. I wanted to see what you said. No, you didn't. You <laughs> yes, were hoping that you were hoping you were throwing up a softball and maybe it would land. No. Wah, wah, wah. Not at all. Let me. Um, while you're getting started there, I'm drawing some wheels. How do you know I'm going to do wheels first? Because you always do wheels first. Thanks. I'm predictable, we eh? We are. We've got 24 viewers tuning in to see what tonight's magical moment will bring. bring. By the way, I got a new, uh, new nib on the... Uh, <laughs> my, a new nib on my... Uh, updated nib? Updated nib. And it's a little... A little more It's sensitive. a little way more slippery. I hear the new nibs are it's way a little more sensitive. It's very... Is it slick? It's very slippery. <laughs> is your nib slick? My nib is very slippery. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. We've got 27 viewers now. I think oh, after must, the nib comment. They must have heard my nib is slippery. They might have. Um, we've got Lizzie watching. We've got Matt Bunce. We've got Draco. Draco. FYI. Drake Sykes. Your stuff went out. Yeah, it's sorry, It's in the man. mail. It took us forever, but you're good. It's, it's on its way. Guess who's also, on? Also, by the way, uh, Draco, the uh, your uh, trading cards are in there. <gasps> what? Yeah. Why would you tell him? Why wouldn't you just let him be surprised? Why is it going to be a secret? Why is everything going to be a surprise to you? I love surprises. Not everybody does. Guess who's watching? I would assume Shagger LeBlanc. No, nope, not yet. Mama Wood. Mama Wood. Yay! Birthday girl. Hi, Mom. Um, so thankful for everybody who... Reached out to Johnny and wished Mama and a happy birthday. Touched somebody like my mom. She was uh, very blessed. Needless yeah, to say, very cool. Thank you so much, everybody. Yes, yeah, so and we had we had a wonderful time with her yesterday. She wanted to go to Red Robin. Red Robin. Yum. So I've already messed this up. Hi, what are that's you doing? Fine. Fine. She can't do two things at once. Um, we took her for a nice meal, and um, as predicted, she did get the cup of soup, which I thought she would. I wasn't predicted. sure what kind, but she did get the French onion. We had a nice time. And they came out and sang to her, and she got mad. It was great. So, <laughs> so I knew happy that birthday I knew that was again, gonna Mama Wood. We love you. Um, Draco said he was getting worried. Matt Bunn said hello. Jeff Bell is watching. Jeff, Jeff Bell. Bell. We've got Dusty Wells. Cool. We've got DCCF in the house. He's saying hello from France. Viva la France. Ken Hamilton says, hey, my brother. Oh, Ken Hamilton in the house. Uh, Mama says Timmy is with her. She nice. said we're hello, here. Tim. We've got Robert Stefano watching tonight as well. John Hughes. Cool. Um, Britt Boyette from Wisconsin tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Ty Caldwell. Bob McLaren. Johnny Knuckles. This nib is giving me the business, babe. <laughs> Michael Lindstrom is watching. Dave Holmes is watching. 
He likes the nib comment. John Kincaid is tuning in. Juanita Bryson. Um, Dave Holmes is tuning in from Tampa. Nice. Thanks um, for uh, checking us out. Edward, it looks like it might be um, a Brazilian flag. Eduardo Ferreira cool. says hugs. What up? Um, John Kincaid, happy birthday, Mama Wood. Yeah, thanks to everybody again. Yeah. That was really cool. Everybody's, and my mom, still, everybody's still reaching out because they know she's on the podcast. Oh, uh, cool. So now she's seeing it. <laughs> All the delayed birthday, belated birthday responses. Um, Mike Pfeiffer says, hello. Love watching you draw. You're awesome. Oh, thanks, man. Tonight's going to be a little different. You haven't done a Jeep in quite some time. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually already um, trying to work through it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Well, I've got it placed here. That's so. okay. Um, some of you may know this about Johnny, but he uh, used to have a Jeep. When did you buy that? Oh, man, 90s. It's something like 90-something, 2000s. Well, were you out of high school? Or were you... Oh, yeah, way out of high school. Okay. So, and it was a 77? <laughs> 72? 79. 79. CJ7. CJ7. So I... A real Jeep. I first met the Jeep. When Not we, a Jeep. When we were just dating. And um, it was... Uh, you had the skull paint job on it at that yeah, time. Yeah, that, that was uh, one of the many paint jobs it had. Yeah. As we've discussed in some prior broadcasts, Johnny's love for paint... <laughs> We we really Kona is I think the only car that I've known you to keep painted the same right color scheme the longest so far yeah I'm not gonna lie I've had a few itches to Changed do up. something different but yeah. uh, she's really got her own personality and she does I hate to uh, to do that so um this this jeep was pretty cool though and it was very um i remember driving it you had me try try to drive it a couple times it was a stick shift so i was expecting it to be like a brand new car stick shift and easily go into gear which i found was not the case <laughs> very much like kona too because i remember getting into kona thinking ah, i could drive a stick and she's a little rough on the uh change as it's well. It's really not. You just got to know how to drive stick. Oh my god. I know how to drive stick. I have Apparently a stick Apparently you don't. For years. Because you really struggle with it. So. The Jeep was very yeah, no. very rough around the edges. It was no, not. No top. We had a windshield. Top? Oh, I never saw it with the top on. It did not have a top oh, on. I knew so you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You're thinking of someone else. Someone else seeing your top. I only saw you topless. And doorless, actually. We didn't have doors either. No. I hadn't, I hadn't, man, did I lose all that stuff? It was pretty stripped. Oh. It was pretty stripped. Yeah. But fun, nonetheless. I mean, we would take it out. And, yeah, it was uh, awesome. Ride it down by the beach and everything. And we'd, it was definitely getting a lot of looks because you had it customized in this really cool skull theme at the time. Did you have a skull shifter? Yeah. Yeah. Skull shifter and skull paint job, which you did. Was that airbrush? Yeah. You did. I'm trying to remember. It's been so long since I've seen it. Because we got rid of that, gosh, probably eight, nine years ago. Right? Because we got Raquel. We had Raquel since 2008. So she's 11 for us. This year. I had Raquel when I when I And sold you still it. had the Jeep, right. Yeah. So it was probably ten years ago or so. Yes. So it was only around for a short period of time, but we had a lot of fun in it. And it's a fond memory of Johnny's. He's got some pictures around of of course different paint schemes on the Jeep, but we do still have those pictures and stuff and Yeah, my my favorite my favorite my favorite paint job was of course the American flag paint job. All right. How long did you have that for? Many years. I painted it that way, uh, 9-11. Oh. oh, wow. So that was, yeah, quite a while. Yep. Eddie Coleman said, sling it. Trying. <laughs> um, Dave Holmes, I need you to do my 70 Baja. Send us an email. Yeah. 
Draco said, did you ever check out the stylus I got from Amazon? It works pretty good, and it was only like 35 bucks. Uh, I did not. Oh. Jack Kivett is watching. Uh, Robert DeStefano said, um, has your nephew mentioned that they might be closing down Wall Township Raceway? No, actually. It would probably be my brother that would be the one to tell me. He's actually working um, at Wall every weekend. So. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, that will suck because that's where they're racing right now. Yeah, that's pretty much the the spot, right? Yeah. Rumor has it a developer wants to put it up low-income housing. Well, ain't yes. that just special? That's generally the way it works. Um, Eddie Coleman said, do the 40 from American Graffiti. Amy Holbrook is tuning in. Jeff said, if you can't find them, grind them. <laughs> Draco said it was a Jeep, not supposed to be fancy. I know, I know that. Um, Draco said we need pictures. I'm sure you have posted some pictures. Of yeah, it. I have. He wants to see the flag paint job. I will definitely. In fact, we have it. Um, there it is right there. Yeah, that is it. Draco said it's got a soft nib, not slick. <laughs> this nib is uh, definitely uh, slippery, so it's, it's taking me a little bit to get used to it, but we're getting it. Tonight's the first you're using it? Yeah. Oh. So I'm just kind of roughing in idea stuff here. DCCF said a thought for Peter Fonda. Peter Fonda. Yes, we did lose a legend there. Yeah. Keep it talking, babe. American actor icon, right? Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> to our notes. To the notes. Um, I wanted to make sure that we covered this activity, which was Johnny has been tinkering with Raquel. Yeah, I have been. Now, I know we said that we were going to sell her. And we've even had a couple people offer. But it really hasn't been um, a feasible thing for us to do with those offers. So, she's still sitting out front. Is that really the, the reason? Well. No. One of them was from out of state. It was going to None of them sense. were. The, the offer wasn't feasible. All of them were well, feasible offers. I guess he just didn't want to do it then. He didn't want to do it. I, I look. I would. I walked outside and I kept looking at it, going, "What am I doing? I got a freaking cool last fifty-one Chevy. Why would I sell it? I need. I need. Just need to get busy. Get some work done on it." So, this past week, so we're making some priorities on some stuff. This past week, he he managed to actually tinker with both of the cars. Yeah. Both. Both. Um, so Raquel doesn't she doesn't have the fuel gauge yet, but it's something you're working on. Yeah, so this whole time um I've and it, it's really I think the biggest reason why I haven't driven it as much as I would probably should or want to, is every time I go out to head like to work or something, I go, Man, I wonder if I have enough gas to get to work. And I'm not in a position to where I can just not be on time right and we not have, that being late you know that i, I can't yeah because i have to open the store and right. all that kind of stuff and more than a time or two we have been stranded due to lack of gas <laughs> so yeah it has happened and there's really no way to gauge it like you do with because the gas gauge in Kona isn't working either but you have yeah but i have my the my uh, trusty gauge. dusty a fuel gauge stick and that works just fine right. so i don't have to worry about it not to mention it burns way less gas and i can i've already kind of been able to figure out the distance and that kind of stuff so it's just a little harder to do that with raquel so a little bit yes. we already have all the parts or are you still missing parts for the fuel gauge thing to work no, not at all okay so he had already bought all the parts it was just a matter of getting out there and doing it and I'll be honest, guys, it's been pouring rain here for weeks. I feel like every time we have a free moment to to do anything outside, we have another engagement that we have to do that 
calls our attention away. So you really haven't had time to get out there and do anything with either one of them. No, I really, so, really haven't. I was surprised when you told me that you had actually gotten out there. Um, and then he did, which this is something we've been wanting to do since we bought Kona, is you did install the wiper on her one single windshield wiper but it's better than having zero it's, all I need. I, it's only me that needs to be able to see right what do you need to see so i don't exactly i generally have my eyes closed because i'm asleep anyway. that's true um so he managed to get out there and tinker with both the cars which was kind of neat i know it's time that you enjoy doing that kind of stuff yeah outside. it's uh, not in this weather though it's no this weather rainy is tough. and hot and it is tough nasty it's not fun no but cooler weather is upon us. We are on the brink of cooler days. In fact, the other day when it was raining, I think it was like 75. I don't, where do you live that That's the, we're on the brink that of was, anything? That was boots weather. 75. Where do you think we're on the brink of any <laughs> weather where we can do that? Because it's... in Florida. We got months left. Coming up on fall. Coming up on fall. Florida fall? Yeah. No. You remember, right? Last freaking um, Halloween, we're sweating out there. It was a little warm. Yeah. It was a little warm. I was talking with somebody about Halloween up north and how our costumes used to have to be, when we would go trick-or-treating, our costumes would have to be like three times bigger because our parents would make us wear our winter jackets under our costumes. Did you, does it cold? Does it get cold over in Santa Maria when you were trick-or-treating? Yeah, but it was winter. Not really October still fall it's not really full-on winter yet well it's California winter well not here here is pretty much warm all the time um, Draco said I felt that way about motorcycles before yeah I, I would assume they uh, don't have a I don't know if he's referring to the gas gauge or if he's referring to not driving it in the rain Rain in Florida, that sounds about right. Yes, sir. That is exactly what we've been dealing with. Draco said cooler weather should be here in about six months. Well, I'm hoping for it to be cool in like another maybe month and a half. Yeah, something month where it's, half. you know. Joe McCarthy said fuel gauges and windshield wipers are overrated. True. <laughs> Well, and we have been going without them for quite some time, so... Yeah, I'm just... I, I really like to be able to just, you know, get in the car and gauge how much fuel I have. It would be nice to know. So just so I don't... I, I know I'm not going to run out of gas. Because, again, like, the, like you said, running out of the gas in that thing, that big heavy car is not, like, pushing the bug out of the way. Right. That thing is, weighs a ton. Yeah. Tons. Tons. So... More than I really want to have to push around. Right. And again, we've done it several times. Yeah. <laughs> Enough times I don't really want to do it anymore. Nope. <laughs> uh, Britt Boyette said, sleeping. Code for scared to death. Um, <laughs> sometimes, yes. That One time we were coming back from an event that we did with a, a local Volkswagen group over at the Causeway. And it was, it was pretty, it was coming down pretty heavy. And... In addition to going through some puddles that were coming up onto my feet through the holes in the floorboard, and then Wah. yeah, and then you not being able to see, it, like when I see you start to panic a little bit about trying to stay focused and whatever, I I'm just like okay, okay, <laughs> so I get a little worried myself. But there's never been a time that we we drove home from Orlando with no brakes. In Rock Hill? Um, where was in Orlando, babe? Where was it? It was, um... Old Town? No. Where was it? Zephyr Hills area? Yes. Okay. We did drive quite a way. It's still quite a ways. It was about an hour ride home. Yeah. With no, no brakes. brakes. No at brakes. At all. In Rock Hill. Zero brakes. You were, like, down not just kind of to not, nothing, because there really isn't a shift capability. It's an automatic, so... Yeah. Oh, wasn't much in the way of downshifting going on. Yeah, that was that was probably the scariest ride, I think, because you were nervous. I could tell you were nervous. And when you're yeah, nervous, we had no brakes. <laughs> when you're nervous, I'm nervous. I didn't fall asleep then that night. He needed me to be awake and alert. Luckily, it was in the daytime as well. So yeah. 
So that helped. Um, Draco said, not wanting to see the motorcycles leave, but gas too. I've, I've got a Springer that at 75 miles I'm pushing. Oh, what's a Springer? Type motorcycle of motorcycle? Thing. Okay. Um, is Old Town still there with the wood Ferris wheel? He wants to know. Um, no, yeah, no Ferris wheel, but definitely. But Old Town is definitely still there. Yep. They've actually redone quite a bit of it. Um, we're up to 52 viewers, by the way. Nice. 58 viewers, actually. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. If yeah. you're just tuning in, um, Johnny is, what is this now? It's a Jeep. Oh, it's a lowered Jeep. See, the Jeep that he had was quite high in the air. Yours was lifted. What was the, uh, did you put a lift kit on? Did you do that yourself? I did. I sure did. Oh. What, what's your lift on that? Three? I had a four inch lift. Four inch lift. With it a was, two and a half there. inch uh, shackle lift in the front. Nice. 33 inch uh, BFGs. Also another two and a half inch body lift. I don't even know what any of that means, but it sounds cool and the Jeep was cool. It, and it was pretty high. pretty high. Yeah, it was pretty high. Um, Jeff Bell said it's not so old town now. No, <laughs> no. Um, I remember the first time Johnny took me to Old Town and um, brought me to Flippers for the first time. Flippers mm. Pizza. Flippers Pizza. Still a fan fave when we're up in the area. We try and hit it. Um, but our Old Town experience for the very first time, we went as spectators. We didn't go with a car. And I can remember walking through the parking lot with you mm -hmm. and you would say what's that car like and and like why you would think i would know this stuff <laughs> we'd only been together for a few months and he's like what's this car and i'm like oh it's blah 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 and he's like no and then he would say you know this is why this is this 41 ford look at the body line look at the lights you know whole thing so he would be teaching me and then like quizzing me and i mean we probably did that for like an entire hour <laughs> Yeah, tire yeah. hour, and he was and because it was a, a tire hour, and you kept trying to learn them, you were slowly cracking away at the big giant rock on my heart. Oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> because I pretended to be interested in what you were interested. Oh, wow! Well, no, I'm just kidding. No, you're not. I did find it interesting. I don't think as. I don't think I grew up saying, oh, my God, I look at these cars. Look, Dad, take me to a car show. No. That wasn't me. But I always thought that they were kind of cool. And again, like I mentioned last week, my idea of the cool car was the, you know, $40,000 paint job and everything pristine and shiny and pretty. And But how cool is it now when you go to visit your brothers and you can talk cars and they're kind of like, wow, she kind of knows some stuff. I know a couple things. I don't. I still don't know. They, you still sometimes know more than they do. And do you want to want? Do you really want to know why I don't learn? Oh. I don't want to steal your thunder. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to shine as the the brilliant. Yeah, Chicago. whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, but Old Town was it was a fun place. Still is a fun place, and it actually we have never taken Kona up there. Yeah, we need to get up there. And with that her. is a goal. So maybe maybe this fall we can do it. At some point. Yeah. Um, we'd like to get her up there, though, and run her through the parade and do the whole thing. We had so much fun with Raquel. How many times did we go? Probably like five, six a times. Lot. Yeah. We probably went like five, six times. To the point we had a fan book of her. We did. We had tons of fan. People would show up to see if she was there, and it was neat. Everybody loved that car. Um, Britt says, in racing, brakes only increase your lap times. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Draco said it's been 30 years since we were there, but that Ferris wheel was cool. Um, they still have the go-karts. I don't know if they had those when you were there. Those are kind of rickety. Maybe those are the same ones. Right. Draco said he had to see if you were worthy. Well, I guess I must have been because I am still here. Yeah. Still yeah. doing car stuff. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> yeah, we have a great time. Really in anything. And anything we do. Yeah. I've always been a huge supporter of your art. Since, you are an art supporter. Since the first time you told me that this is something that you were into, 
I remember coming over to your house and looking at all your stuff and showing me you used to paint on rocks and you had some little sketchy stuff at your place and yeah, all little different things. And then the airbrushing stuff. And I was just like, man, I, I, I can't imagine you not doing it because you were just so naturally talented with it. So I'm excited that you got back into it and that we're doing this as a little side gig right now. This is going to be... This is going to be our retirement plan right here. Well, that's the hopes, right? Yeah. Is that we can maybe a car shoe near you. Yeah. That would be the plan. Like we said, travel in an RV across the United States or all, all over, really, and hit up some car shows and do like mobile printing of our shirts and hats and all that kind of stuff. It'll mm -hmm. be fun. It'll be fun. Special engagements. You can book us. I can start scheduling us for different gigs. <laughs> huh? Lock us in now. Maybe by then I'll take up the recorder. And we can add a little music to it. <laughs> Johnny plays guitar, by the way. So just saying. Lizzie says you two are a match made in heaven, just like Randy and I are. Aww. I agree. I agree. He is my soulmate. Once he, Once I put my tiny hand in his... <laughs> I will be your preacher teacher. <laughs> um, Matt Bunn said, used to love the car show at Old Town before they shut it down and went to the weekend gatherings. They still do the cruise, man. Yeah, they still are doing the cruise. You said Friday and Saturday night. Yeah. Friday and Saturday night. And I think they do also do another one. Unless, hey, listen, it's Wednesday. been a while since we've been. It has been. Unless they changed it since we the last time we went. But, you know. Some of the shops have changed, but they still have that cool uh, retro shop with all the Betty Boop stuff and the Elvis stuff and all the car shirts. What was the brand that they were selling there? I used to get them for you all the time before we started printing our own. <laughs> do you remember? Yeah. I forget what the name of it was. You loved those. I do. And they have some pretty cool stuff up there. Little tattoo shops and... I got my first tattoo up in Old Town. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Britt Boyette said recorder. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. Yeah, she might. Uh, okay. You might uh, see a, a rendition here soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come oh, to the nice stage. Goodness. You know where you love her. It's any me on the recorder. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta have my thing when you have your thing, right? Oh my goodness. Speaking of having a thing, we are having a vacation coming up pretty quick. Segways are Can't wait to get worst. out of here. My segues are on point. They're the worst. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're just so horrible. No. Um, guys, we're heading to a city near you, possibly, if you're in uh, Vegas or in California. <laughs> you realize California is a large I state. I know. I it's, said not like New city. it's not like New Jersey. I said it's Where you're like, hey, we're coming to New Jersey. You. And realistically, you're an hour away from pretty much anybody in New Jersey. Because I'm in Central Jersey. Right. We're, California, you're anywhere from an hour to five hours, six hours away from somebody. You don't know. I said coming to a city near you. I didn't say coming to I state near know. you. I don't know. I lived there. Anywho. Yeah. We, we still haven't had anybody reach out to us to let us know if there's any car stuff going on in either place. There is. I told you. No, you didn't tell me. You told me the big it's show. It's when we're when leaving. We're leaving. Right. I'm talking about while we're there. While we are there. Nobody's going to be going to any little shows before then. You don't know. Maybe there's a little cruise in or something we might stumble upon. Well, we might. You've got people buying art from you that live in Santa Maria, which is where we're going to be. We're also going to be hitting probably the Santa Barbara area and the Orchid area and well, you know, the I was, I was San Luis Obispo I was area. rethinking when you were talking about uh, meeting up with your kid. Yes. Is maybe we go down that way so I can hit up the Peterson Museum. What, in L.A.? Yeah. I wouldn't mind taking a ride. I'd kind of like to see where he's living. Because right now the um, they've got... Um, I think it's like movie cars there is the well what i say was like a three hour drive that's not bad i mean we don't want to plan it right after we do the eight hour drive but 
Yeah, anyway, we could, we could do a three hour drive Anyways. and head down. So, and you know, people down in toward the LA area, don't you? There's people down there. We know peeps. We got peeps. Um, well, um, Adeo Bueno is tuning in from Curitiba, Brazil. We are not going to be in your area. That'd be awesome, though. <laughs> that would be a cool, cool thing. Um, Draco wants to know if they still have the saltwater taffy machine in. Old Town. I know they sell saltwater taffy. I don't know if there's a machine. Oh, the, maybe there is. On the car side. I, I think there might be. Well, Last time we went, I think there might be. Very possible. Um, Draco said Delaware. Come to Delaware. Well, um, that is close to Jersey. You might, you might hit that up. We're in Delaware. That's where he lives. <laughs> no, it's like uh, Wayne's World. Oh. <laughs> Brit's, Hi. Brit we're, Boyette said Vegas is pretty cool. We're in Delaware. We're we're going to be in Vegas for a very short time. And then we are driving to California from Vegas. So um, if you're on the way and you want to say, hey, let us know. <laughs> I, I, I think it would be cool. Yeah, it, it's uh, a bummer that our... Original plan was to go uh, hang out with Ian, but he's heading to Burning Man, so right. he and I can't I can't blame him for that. No, and we definitely don't want to pit stop there. We'll be a fish out of water. Where would we be pit stopping? Where Burning Man? <sighs> where is that? You don't really read much, do you? I don't. <laughs> where is that at? It's at way out in the desert. Oh no! <laughs> Are we going to be near it? Oh my god! To drive past Just, it. Don't we have to go through the Just desert to get past it? He's he's whispering me, whispering to me to stop talking. We have to drive through the desert. I'm asking is We have to comb here? the desert. We're combing it? Mm-hmm. Mm. And we ain't found. <laughs> uh, Matt said the original Old Town car show got too big. Over 300,000 spectators. Old Town could not handle it. You would have to walk for miles to get to the show. All the local businesses complained because their customers had no place to park. I will tell you. Is this as of when, though? When is this, this I news? I don't know. But. I'd like to know. Is as this of recent? most recently, it is still a very popular show. And remember Says had, you? Remember they had to open up that back parking lot for people? That was almost how long ago did we go to that? A couple years ago. Okay, that's a couple years. So is he talking about sooner? Because maybe he's got that. more. Tell us about more re recent know. information. I'm Wayne. curious. I don't want to drive all the way down there and find out. It's not even going on. Well, I'm sure we could Google it and find out. We can Google stuff? Yeah. Huh. Or you can say, hey, Google. Hey, Google. It's not even, ooh. Oh, crap. What'd you do? This responded. Oh. Uh, the. <laughs> Back to the broadcast. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My tablet actually responded when I said that. <laughs> How scary that it's listening to everything. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. How scary is your Google tablet that heard you say, hey, Google, responding to it? It's doing it again because you just said. Right. Stop talking oh about Google. God. Stop saying it. <laughs> stop saying Google type things. I had to go out and come back in. And now it's taking forever to load. Oh, jeez. Oh, for crying out loud, guys. I lost you for a sec. Lost you for a sec. So one of the things that we do plan to do when we are out in California is hit wine country. I have noticed oh since God. we've started drinking. What? Why do you got to call it names that it isn't the name? It's not wine country? No! <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's a part of the country where they grow wine. How is that not, not wine country? You're so ridiculous. Oh, my God. Let me have my moments. All right. Have your moment. Call it what you loud. want. Crying out loud. Um, yeah. So I have <sighs> noticed, <laughs> I've noticed since we've been drinking more and more wine and like from different regions and stuff like that, that a lot of it is from California and some of it from the region in wine country that we're going to be visiting. <laughs> so I'm super excited to go see 
where they grow it, how they grow it. I can't even draw right now. Why? <laughs> what is wrong with because. you? Because. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I'm talking about wine and you're drinking no. wine? No. Yeah, FYI, for anyone tuning in tonight that was here with us last week, I still have not gotten the stain out of my runner, my table runner, after Johnny spilled his wine glass last week. So. I'm almost ready to spill it again, just so you'll stop talking about it. That was on my list of things to discuss. Was oh, that right, is on your list. <laughs> I'm, I'm deferring to the list. Oh, jeez. Brit put wine country, W-H-I-N-E. Exactly. <laughs> so as close to it as we're getting. I want to see the grapes. I want to experience oh it. <laughs> I want to walk through. You have, you're have you in for a rude awakening. There's no grapes? Is it just a big plant? Where they filter the water and stuff and oh add it? Oh, my God. Why can't you, here's the thing. I would, here's, here's what I believe you need to learn how to do. Just go and experience it. Don't come in with a preconceived notion or this preconceived idea of how it's going to be. Because then you get there and you're like, oh, well, this isn't what I thought it would be. <laughs> well, because you thought wrong. I already know it's going to be amazing. It's all I need to know. I'm well, there excited. you go. That's exactly right. So Let just me be excited. So just do that. Don't try and kill it for me. I'm going to be excited about wine. You can be excited. I'm going to be. Well, be. Good. I'm going I, to do be. it. I'm I don't going even care to. right now. I'm going to. So that's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> what What is that? Um, T minus four days until guess what? Oh, no. George Strait. Yeah. We're going to go see a George Strait we concert are, aren't on we? Friday, which yeah. is where all of this tripping stemmed from. Was our George Strait tickets. So that's very exciting. California tripping. California. California. I had to go out and come back in twice now. Who? Me. To the broadcast. Because I'm, I don't know. I'm having a bad connection issue. Yeah. So I hope everybody else is able to still hear. Likes and loves if you're able to still hear. Maybe they were like so engrossed. In the no, wine got, speak that they were like, wow, maybe I need to go check this out. There's like 40 people still watching. What are they even talking about this whole wine thing they're talking about? Brit's, I must find where this wine country <laughs> is. Britt said grocery stores have a grape section. Have a blast. Um, we visit that section. Exactly. That's about what we're going to see. No, it's going to be different. No. It's going to be better. They're going to have tours. There's going to be cheese. There will be tours. Cheese. Three hour tour. And cheese. Draco said, speaking of wine, on the latest Avengers movie, they were talking about movies, and guess what was mentioned? Well, not wine-related, but Die Hard related What? Die Hard, Avengers you dork. Movie. Oh. He said it wasn't wine-related, but it was Die Hard related. Mm -hmm. So what did they talk about? He was segueing like you do. Oh, Jeff said, uh, Jeff Bell said, we the viewers have revolted and kicked Itty out with all this wine talk. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm here to stay, fellas. I am here to stay. Um, you know what's also here to stay? <laughs> Our t-shirts. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, we now... Hey, you talking to me about <laughs> segways? <laughs> we now have all of the t-shirts that we have available posted up on... Our website. Oh, they were going to say, we have all the t-shirts we have available, available. No, they're on the website. So you can actually look at all the different ones that we have and decide which one you would like. And you do still need to email us. We don't have a shopping cart uh, function on there as of yet. On, just, on there? On what? On the website. You didn't say website. Earlier I did. Yes, I did. Um, here's the good news. We can play this back and you'll find your We home. will. Um, oh, we will. On the website. We will play it back. We have all the shirts. And you will listed. see. We still need you to email, though. If you're going to order, just email which design you'd like and what size. Right now, all of them are black except for our 4X size. The 4X size, we do have some other colors available, but <clears throat> um, it's a limited supply on those. So I need to research and find out uh, which colors we're going to have on hand. Because right now, I think we just have gray. For what? For the 4X size. Oh. But we do go all the way up to 4X and no additional fee for the larger sizes, guys. Yeah, we do not charge a fat guy fee. No. 
like some people do. No FGF. <laughs> no FGF. That should be that. I like that. No FGF. Drago wants to know if you can get a T-shirt with a custom wine stain. Um, I can arrange it, Draco, but it's a black shirt, so I don't know how well you're going to see it. That's okay. The custom wine stain. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> we're super excited about getting the, the website up, and we've had um, a couple people uh, comment on how great it looked, and we think our guy did a great job. Hank, I know, is not on the broadcast tonight, but yeah, Hank, Hank, Dutton, is Hank the... Dutton is the one who designed it for us, and he really took the idea and what we had wanted and really made it into what it is. So And ran with it. He did run with it, and it's amazing. So we are very thankful. We're happy to just have something up, too, because we've been talking about it for so long, and I'm so glad we finally did it, and it's up. And we're going to be slowly working on it, adding more content, adding more products for you guys. Um, as always, there are still prints for sale in the album on Johnny's page. And there's a link to that page on our website. There's also a link to Johnny's Instagram on website. And then also YouTube, which I know Dil Johnny's been diligent to uh, upload those. Diligence has been Johnny. Diligence Johnnyed. has been Johnny. <laughs> Um, he's been trying to get the episodes up there so you guys can see them. We also plan on doing some live stuff uh, during our traveling this week. Well, yeah, and uh, week. of course the um, podcast is going to be out soon, starting soon. Yeah, that's probably something we'll be doing after we get back and think things through are a little you, bit better. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you want to wait? We're Big announcement. Wait. We're gonna wait. Okay. We're gonna wait. But there is a podcast coming. Yep. Um, Draco wants to know where more he... more interactions like this, huh? Right. Exciting. Come hang out. Check it out. Right. You'll love it. <laughs> Draco said, "Where's Henry tonight?" And I think you said he's working. He's out of town working tonight, so could not join us. Britt said, "Go to Wisconsin. You could visit the Milwaukee Mile and the best cheese on the planet." I've heard about your guys's cheese. Love the cheese. I've had the cheese. I've had the cheese curds. I've had the unrefrigerated cheese curds. And it does not sound like it should be that way. But the unrefrigerated cheese curds are better than the refrigerated ones. It's What's called the difference? squeaky cheese. It's just a different consistency. Eating it warm. And it's so good. Yeah. Draco oh. said he's uh, intrigued by our podcast idea. Yeah. Um, Jeff said to Draco, his fellow nerds, and he retired to the nerdery with their calculators about Hank. Hank is a trivia whiz. I will say that. He he knows a lot. About or he's everything. good at Google. One yeah. of the two. He is quick with the Google. But, um, yeah, we always miss him on the broadcast. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Do we? This guy looks familiar. Hmm. Huh. He almost looks like a member of the Jalopy Army. Where is that? Perhaps. Hmm. Or Jalopy Monster Crew. You were good the first time. I know, it's the army. But he's still a monster. He's such an interesting monster. That's where we're at, so let me get it. Yeah, it looks pretty we're... cool. What do we think? Likes, loves? Yeah, likes, loves, guys. I I would like it better if he had a hand on that it's one coming. arm. Okay. <laughs> he looks a little lacking in the hand department. Oh, Spud Anderson is tuning in. Hello, hello. Thanks for tuning in. And Julie Anderson is watching. Cool. They usually do a couple's thing. She says better late than never. That's right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, Johnny's doing a slammed Jeep, it looks like. Does it, I can I can see the Jeep thing now. Your hand was in the way earlier when I was looking at it because I was like, how is this a Jeep? But now I'm seeing it. Um, what well, better... that's good news. <laughs> Draco said, what better place for a jalopy army member than a Jeep? Right? Typical military vehicle. The Jeep, the Humvee, 
Is that G it's Jeep like, but it's not made by Jeep. No, it's it? not. They're similar though. No, no, no. Similar characters. Not at all. No? Nope. What about the whole no door thing? What does that gotta do with it? I don't know. <laughs> I've always actually when the Humvees started coming out. You know what? I, they they're as similar with no door thing as a walkaway with no door. What's a walkaway? Walkway. No door. Walkway? Yeah. It's a car? Hallway. You mean in a house? Yeah. What are you talking that's, about? That's how similar they are. No. So similar as screen doors on a submarine. <laughs> when the Humvees first started coming out, I actually thought it was a Jeep product. Of course you did. So That's not if surprising. You, <laughs> if you look at the newer <laughs> Jeeps, uh -huh. the wide body Jeeps, not the Wranglers, but the other ones that they're coming out with that are a little bit more wide body. Well, you're saying and, and, you're, no... and you don't think those are Wranglers? Oh, is it a wide body Wrangler? It's not a wide bodied anything. It's a Jeep. But it's not as thin as the other ones. The other ones are a little bit more compact. As what ones? As the the old Wranglers. Oh, the old ones. So you're saying the progression of the design yes, has become wider. Oh, yes. so why would that change? What because it, is? it looks like I'm saying it's similar to. Have you seen the original, the first generation Equinox? Much smaller than the Equinox that you currently drive. Oh, is it? So in design, they've gotten wider. Is it because people are getting bigger? No, it's just the because design. Because of the fast food industry? It's just gotten wider because designers have decided to make it wider. Oh. All right. Well, I still think that the newer Jeeps with the wider body resemble a... Hum B. Uh -huh. And I used to think for the longest time it was a hung V. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Because I thought it Whoa. represented a V, and I'm like, it looks more like a U. Why are they calling it a hung V? A hung V. Hmm. Hung U. Pretty much. Um, Keith Hampton is tuning in from Paragold, Arkansas, says hello. I'm a V. Julie said her dad had a 49 Willys. I do like cool. the Willys. Um, Jeff Bell said, I took the doors off of a Kia. It's not a Jeep. Thanks. <laughs> um, Julie oh, said, they're not the same? It's. I mean, the doors are off. Similar. Similar. Julie said the Army drove Jeeps and Humvees. That's how they are similar. Sure. Drago said a fiberglass dune buggy don't have doors, so it's a Humvee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff Bell said I took the doors off a of Kia. It's now a Jeep. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Britt Boyette said it's like comparing a Fiero to a Corvette. Similar. They're yeah. Similar. Those are almost, they're almost the same thing. And this is what I'm going to Do you see the, the error in your ways now? I, I'm i hearing it. Okay. Yes. I, I didn't say that I agree with it now. I said when they first came out, I thought they were the same car. Right. Or of the same family of cars. I didn't say I feel that way now. I said they looked similar. There were similarities. <laughs> in any in case. Any case. <laughs> Let's talk about wine. Moving on. Moving on. In wine country. Look, I've only had maybe four or five cars my entire life. Mm-hmm. My 77 Nova. Which wasn't yours. I was using it. It wasn't yours. But I was using okay, it. Okay, we found out different that this it was, was my not my grandparents' your, car. That it was not your car. I In used fact, it, it was your brother's car. It had been everyone's car until me. Mm, apparently. And then it was my car. I don't know. Your brother tells a different story. It was my car. I drove it. Then I had the 81 Plymouth Reliant. Stellar ride the, there. Yeah. Yeah. Then. I can see. I had a Chevy Z24. What? Oh, yeah. 
in red. Oh, uh, yeah. The 20 foe? Chevy Cavalier Z24. Nice. Was that, then, was that turbocharged? Um, it was a pretty sick car at the time. You have no idea. It was an 88. <sighs> no big whoop. You have no idea if it was turbocharged or know. supercharged. It was red. That's all I know. It was red. And then I had... My favorite football team is this team because their helmets are cool. Well, that's pretty much how I pick my teams. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did I have after that? I had a minivan for a little bit. Right. I had a Saturn. I had a couple Saturns. I had two Saturns. Yeah, you did. I had that green three-door, and then I had a four-door at one yeah. point. You had the Lexus for five two days. Two weeks. And then I had a... Uh, Your Lexus was about as useful as my Yukon. <laughs> exactly. Well, that, that was like the worst. That was oh, the my God. worst. I, I, I loved that car, though. It was so cool. I had a moonroof. What's the difference between a moonroof and a sunroof? Can anyone tell me? Is it the same thing? Is it the same? And if so, then why do they say, hey, moonroof? Or, hey... Sunroof, if they're different. I believe a, a, I a sunroof you can open, and a moonroof you can't. So the moonroof is just glass? Yeah. But, but a sunroof you can pop open to... Pop open, slide open, up, back and forth. I believe. Can anyone else um, collaborate? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Oh, Jeff Bell said I'm still slightly hungover from Saturday shenanigans. Nice. Well done, Good sir. Good for you. Draco said Reliance are the citation of the Chrysler world. It's a hole in the roof no matter what. So nobody is um, nobody is backing me up here. But yeah, I always, backing I always me up wanted or backing I had, you up. That car had leather interior and it had whatever Ooh, the whatever. Chrysler was leather? No. If it was Chrysler leather, then it was rich. Caribbean leather. No, it was the, the Lexus. It was a Toyota. That's not mm. a Chrysler. I think it's the here. No. Um, so, yeah, I had that car for a little bit. And then the Nissan Altima had that for a smidge. And then the, right. and then the new car. So, I guess it was more than five, really. You've but that had, was over the course of my whole lifetime. You've had quite a few cars. That was over the course of my whole lifetime, though. I mean, I've been driving for 30 years now. I mean, geez. Yeah. Brett Boyette said, same thing, marketing ploy. Draco said, it's a hole in the roof no matter what. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that's what it is, too. I had always wanted a convertible. In fact, <laughs> remember when I met you, I'm like, ooh, those Chrysler Sebring convertibles. I was like, no. <laughs> and now that I uh, that I watched The Office, I realized Michael Scott and I would have been twins with yeah, our yeah. Chrysler Sebring convertibles. Um, Jeff Bell said, from my understanding, the moon roof only tilts up and the sun roof opens completely. So both of them open to air. Cool. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, whatever it was, I had one and it was pretty sweet. Was it sweet, sweet? It was a sweet, sweet moon roof. <laughs> <laughs> that... Um, didn't start. I forget what the issue was, but I bought this thing for a couple grand from somebody that I trusted. and That was your first mistake. Yeah. And then it just went bad. You talking about the Lexus? Yeah. Yeah, it had problems with the electrical. Yeah. It was a problem in the fuse box area. It was all jacked. Yeah. It rode nice, though. It was a very smooth ride and had a it lot was, of power. It was quick. Had a lot of power. I was so excited to have it. What are you going to do? Things happen. Yeah. And now I'm in an Equinox. At least it's not a minivan. My minivan days are over. Yeah. You rocking the Equa. Yeah. I um, don't really have any plans for my next vehicle. I think this one's going to be hanging around for quite some time, especially now that Johnny has customized it for me because I feel much cooler than the other Equinoxes. In fact, today I pulled up right next to another Equinox, my same exact car, mm -hmm. but um, not with the black wheels, not with the black emblems, and they had um, the white door handles rather than, mm -hmm. wait, no, they had the chrome door handles rather than the white ones that I have. And it was not cool, it as was cool, not was it? not as cool, not as cool. 
she looked at me, I looked at her, and we just knew. I was the cooler one at that moment. So Pretty It's all that matters. It really is. <laughs> I just want to make sure you had a leg up, babe. <laughs> but we have been discussing maybe putting some red highlights on her. Highlights? Yes, like different things, not highlights. Accents? Yes, that's what I meant. Um, is anybody else picking up on the fact that I can't say anything without it being critiqued or being told that I'm wrong for saying it? Is it just me? Well, because you say it like it's right, and it's not. It's called conviction. It's, it's... I've got it. <laughs> That's if, right. If I'm convinced myself, Fine, I'm going to Fine, I'll others. leave you alone. No, that wouldn't be. You're just coming that off. That isn't all, our marriage dynamic. That's you're not just how it's coming work. off. All like you know stuff. Um, cause I do. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bell said, "Aren't SUVs like the Equinox really just the new minivan?" Pretty much. Um, you would say that, but, but no. But no, and here's why. Let me tell you why. Why is that? Because mine has four doors. None of them slide. Therefore, not a minivan. Uh. Not a minivan. No one's fingers are getting stuck in a slammed sliding door in my car like they did in the other minivans I've had. <laughs> um, did you all run for pinks in your equinoxes? No, but she was giving me that look. And um, then we realized we had the same model and probably the same engine size. So we said, nah. We said, good day, sir. You, you gave her a pass. Yeah. Although the way you drive that thing, um, that car loves me. Just FYI, you know how, you know how some car like when I when you drive my car, my car is just kind of like no giddy up because you're very grandfathery. Oh my god, you whatever. Are, you're grandfathery. Yeah. Car. Um, when I get in it, she knows it's me. Yeah. So and does the moving. so does the oil temperature, we're moving. The pressure, and the engine's like oh jeez. What abs. Um, what are we at time right now? Because you're probably going to want to start doing color here. So 57 minutes, we're already at an hour. Pretty much. Three minutes shy of an hour. Um, Britt said Johnny could have done a custom treatment to a minivan, slammed with a chopped top. Um, I honestly believe that my husband could do all of that. I think he could do body work. I think he could do I just get over the fear mechanic of doing it. work. I, I think you could. You've got a very small setup out there with your little welder and some of the pieces and stuff you have out there. We've got body parts all over the place. Car body parts, <laughs> not people body parts. <laughs> and mattresses Our and garage everything. Is and mattresses and body the, parts and everything else. <laughs> um, I honestly think he could. And there's been a few things that you have done with a welder, but yeah, and you've done fine, and you still feel. Odd about doing Rack it. and brah. I think he could do it all. But he's also the man of many projects. And uh -oh. you got it? Yeah. Okay. He's also the man of many projects. We have quite a few things around for him to do, and he's only one person. And oh, thanks for recognizing that. Some stuff I can't help with, and it's only stuff that you can do. So. It's put on the back burner, and we have a lot of unfinished projects. Well, there's a the line work. It looks good. It looks good. Julie said Halloween's just around the corner for all those body parts. <laughs> yeah, really. We ought to just um, open up our garage and use that as the haunted house and see if kids get out alive without being scraped to death right? by body parts. That's probably not a bad idea. <laughs> right? Yeah, we have... Um, Quite a bit of parts. He's a saver. I wouldn't, you're not definitely not a hoarder whatsoever, but you do save a lot of stuff. Papers, receipts, car parts, wires, tools, pencils like you wouldn't believe. We've got art stuff in three rooms in this house. We have stuff. We've got a lot of stuff. For future projects. See, and you're you say I'm over here picking on you. How you is that picking on you? You can't say anything right. <laughs> and then you over there any moment throwing that stuff at me. That's good. Okay. 
This, I'm telling people. Game on, sister. I just gave you credit for doing what you can with what you've got. And not. I realize right. you can't get to all the projects. You're right, I can't. I'm just we one have, guy. We have many. I'm many one projects. guy, man. Hey, if I was. Hey. <laughs> If I was more creative and was able to help, we'd be getting more of the stuff done. Well, I can't help. You're the only one who could. has the talent. You're the only one who has the talent That's and true. the knowledge. It's true. And the wherewithal to do Whatever. it. Whatever. <laughs> what do you say right now? The wherewithal. Give you a wherewithal. All right, let's color this sucker. All right, guys. 43 viewers still tuning in. Really? To watch this get <laughs> colored. It's baloney. Yep. That's hilarious. Thanks for hanging out. I think they love watching it come to life. They must love just listening to us bicker. It's fun. Is it? No one likes to hear themselves bicker, so it's always more fun listening to Is it better to hear bicker. someone else? I think so. Good to know. Jeff said in a Mortal Kombat voice, Ready, fight. <laughs> Actually, I don't really know what the Mortal Kombat voice sounds like. That was like. pretty close. Is that it? That was pretty close. Good. Finish her. Yeah. <laughs> Which you would like to. Mm. Sometimes you look over. Ah! Oh, you kidding me right now. Okay. Sometimes you look over with that, with your hand outstretched in the shape of like my neck. Like like a Darth Vader? <laughs> yeah. You're over here doing hand motions. Do you think people can... I'm doing it for you perfect to ra see. Perfect radio. <laughs> Jeff Bell said it's all the wine talk keeping people engaged. <laughs> <laughs> right. This time on Wine Talk. Bob McLaren said, why I stay single? I come here to remind me of my married Oh. Voice. <laughs> hey, we're just here to help. Right? Hey, this is what we were told to do in our therapy is that we should. Yeah. <laughs> the whole idea of this whole getting sketchy was getting just, sketchy. Just to help our marriage stay together. <laughs> Nah, we have a blast. We are loving life. Oh, well, that's a great green for that car. Oh, oh. thanks. Good job, baby. Glad you Look approve. at you. Look at you pulling colors out of your butt. It's a good one. I like the number five. Uh, the number five or the number 51 you'll see used quite frequently in a Johnny Jalopy design. Yeah. One of his, two of his favorite, and five, I think, is favorite number. 51 is his old football number when he used to play football. But the 51 will be making a comeback, won't it? It will be, in more ways than one. In more ways than one. Um, Draco said renamed Getting Tipsy instead of Getting Sketchy. I wish that was the case. <laughs> Everybody in the club. Getting Skippy. <laughs> Everybody on the broadcast. Work from green. Joey Hardwick is tuning in and saying work from green. I do like the green. It's like truly an army green. Have you ever done camouflage? Have you ever done the semblance of a camouflage design on anything you've done? I don't um, think I've ever seen you do that blend. I mean, you've done patina. I've seen that, but that's not quite the camouflage. I wonder how hard that would be. It's a specific design, the camouflage. Is it's it? It's like a paper. Yeah, there's because there's a design to it. It's not just a blend of colors. There's actual little designs hmm. within it of the different color splotches of the tans, of the greens. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so Again, I didn't realize you were an expert in camouflage. But I now, have camouflage now we've, clothes. Now we've suddenly found out you're a, also a camouflage expert. Oh, my God. <laughs> coming, to the, coming next week, and he talks about everything because she knows it all. I know a little bit about nothing. That'll be my motto. Talk with Itty B a little bit about nothing. <laughs> Um, Jeff Bell said, tipping wine glasses into your mouth and, and on apparently a super fancy table runner. No, this one is not as fancy. This is, uh, I think I bought this one the first year we moved in. It really doesn't match anything. I didn't have my color scheme quite planned out yet. He ruined the red one. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Blame it on Lorraine. Draco said uh, patina is rust camouflage. Yes, perhaps. Perhaps a rust camouflage. Camouflage her wine glasses. <laughs> I'm really not a huge fan of camouflage. I do have a couple things that are camouflage. Camouflage is a big thing down here in Florida. Camouflage and the orange, bright orange color. There's a lot of hunting going on down I will, here. Uh, I will now caution you to proceed with caution. <laughs> well, I'm These are generally the areas in which you start to offend people. Why? I'm just saying. Because you start uh, speaking your likes and dislikes. I and then like throwing camouflage. A, and throwing a reference out there that generally I sometimes can offend people. I am not a fan people. of wearing it myself. I have a couple I'm items. I'm just reminding you, Lady B, to tread lightly. We have many tractor supplies. They sell a lot of camo. Does yours place sell camo? Does yours place? Does your store? Yeah. You sell camo? No. Oh, oh I didn't think so. Gander Mountain. <laughs> Camo for days there. Take a gander. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of camo places. Places to buy camo. We actually have a lot of those um, Army Navy thrift store places too that sell like actual right. stuff. Right, they kind of do. We mm -hmm. do. I mean, like I would say in a square in a square mile, there's probably three of them. Maybe not a square mile. Maybe square five miles. Is that a thing? Square five miles. Within a five mile radius, we probably have about three. In a square radius. five miles. <laughs> You're so funny. Julie said you can't wear camo off the boat in Barbados. Babe, Barbados, FYI. Oh, I guess she found out the hard way. Oh. In Barbados. Jeff Bell said Flora Tucky tuxedos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which, what color should the monster be? Well, you can't do green now. Mm-hmm. Unless you did a brighter green. Nah, it'd be too much green. Orange, maybe? Purple. Blue monster? Maybe blue. Maybe blue. I don't think the blue is going to stand out as well as like a red would. Are you doing his tongue red? Mm -hmm. Why don't you do him an orange if you're doing the tongue red? Maybe do him like a pale, sick orange. He doesn't even need to be a monster color. He could be flesh colored. Jeff Bell saying blue. He wants to see it blue. If you guys are digging this, likes and loves. Uh, this print is available for sale, by the way. It is. It's only 15 bucks, too. Our Monday night sketchy items or designs or finished products are only $15. 17 by 11 size they come. Full color. Shipped to you free in the United States. Which is crazy. It's a crazy good deal. I like it. See, is that just the regular flush color? Yeah, okay. it does kind of work. Yeah. I think he's good. Jeff Bell did want to see blue. I'll tell you what, Jeff, we're going to be putting some blue in that chrome in a minute. I like the way I say we. Because mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything but sitting over here tonight. That's all right. That's okay. Is that different than normal? Nope. Episode 31, though, guys. I can't believe we're already in August and... Uh, yeah, we're almost... Uh, by the time we come back... And season we're, 2, we're man. back in full swing. Yeah, it's going to be September, and then we only have a couple months left. It's just crazy how fast this year has gone. We've appreciated all the support. We've had a really great year so far for Johnny Jalopy Art, and getting the word out about his name is has been amazing you guys have been awesome sharing it's been, the videos it's been super fun just doing this yeah ryan anderson's tuning in he says have you ever done an early volkswagen bug split window or oval love them cars and would be awesome to have one of your drawings you probably have those mm -hmm. um if you go to johnny johnny's page if you go to our website johnnyjalopy.com and head over to Johnny's Facebook page in his um, album of prints for sale or art for sale. There are tons of Volkswagen stuff. Um, you'll see some stuff there that you'll, you'll be interested I in. Sure. I just really like the simplicity of this one. Yeah, I like it too. Lizzie said this year flew by way too fast. I agree. 
Jeff Bell is um, going to read his daughter bedtime story. So thanks for tuning in, so, Jeff. Always right, a pleasure man. having Later, you Later, brother. You and your tats take care. Tats. <laughs> your tats. Maybe that's what we do in Vegas. No. <gasps> we'll get Vegas tats. It could happen. Nine hundred dollars more for tats, just because. Hey, we're in Vegas. if we here, I'll make you a deal. I'm gonna play. <laughs> you need to make me a deal. I'm gonna play a ten dollar roll of quarters because I'm not a gambler, but I'm gonna do it. And if we win, we use that quarters money. Quarters on what? To get tats. I don't know. Slot machine? Don't they do slots? Are you, if you're gonna gamble in Vegas, gamble. Oh, play and slot lose thirty dollars in two seconds. I'm good. I did that on the cruise ship one time. It was stupid. That's not gambling. That's on a cruise ship. I like the idea of playing a quarter slot and just putting my quarters in. Even if we won like six, eight hundred bucks, go get tats. You're hilarious. We'll get tats, bro. Would you do it? Would sure. you do a Vegas tat? You would trust somebody to do a Vegas tat? And, and again, now here you go again. You're using. A state. What's a Vegas tat? I don't know. Pop ups. I don't know. Maybe they're not. Pop. What's a pop up? Pop up tat. What are you talking about? A tat card. <laughs> you don't, don't think they, they have, have tattoo? Mobile? You don't think they have tattoo shops in Las Vegas? Maybe. You don't think they have tattoo shops in Las Vegas? Can we afford a tattoo shop in Las Vegas? You think a pop up place is going to be cheaper? Yeah. Yeah, so was the tetanus shot. The... <laughs> That's why I'm asking you if you would trust it. <laughs> uh, the answer would be no. So we're not getting pop up <laughs> Vegas tats. <laughs> what did I say about the preconceived deal? <laughs> uh, once again, this is my you life. <laughs> my entire view of life is preconceived. It really is. I know. It's unreal. That's what makes it so funny. Because I'm always like, oh, this isn't what I. <laughs> Am I ever truly let down by anything? No. All the time. No, I'm not. I laugh about it. It's funny. You're We've always got... like, why isn't this five bucks? Gary Fisher tuning in. Hey, Gary, how are things What's going up? over there in your neck of the woods? Nico the woods. This one came out cool. So this is Johnny's uh, rendition of a Jeep. Slammed Jeep. Come back, Jeff. You're missing the best part, Draco says. <laughs> He's already out. He already tuned out. Yeah. He missed the whole... Uh, that book ain't going to read itself. Pop-up tat store. Right? That's okay. I think it would be great if we got tats while we were out there. Please stop calling them tats. <laughs> How many times do I have to ask you? <laughs> How fun would that be, though? And then we come back and we'll always remember our tats from Vegas. That would be great. Corey Wood said, go to the Golden Skull Tattoo and see Raider, great artist in place in Vegas. <laughs> so we're going to go in. What's the magic word? Right, it'll be like some... Golden Skull. I was told to ask for Raider. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go through a series of doors. Right. What's the high sign? <laughs> Great artist and place in Vegas. Golden Skull. I'm going to write it down. Well, why not? Golden You've been known skull. to get your tats just about anywhere. Pop-up tat places. <laughs> if there's the such a thing. Greater. You don't know about pop-up tattoo? I guess not. Oh, my God. Where have you seen these pop-up tattoos? From De Plain Boss. <laughs> De Plain. <laughs> did you get it? Did you get what I did? Oh, I did. That was funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, Bob McLaren said, Danny from Count Customs owns a tat shop. Is he in Vegas? Yes. No, my kid. She doesn't watch car TV. Oh. He's in... Oh, see, no, I don't. Oh. Uh, oh. Gary Fisher said, do a tattoo of your favorite football team, go Raiders. Um, funny story, because the Raiders Make it a is, funny. Make the it Raiders a is Johnny's favorite team. Is and was. Is and was. There is no was. 
Well, because you don't really watch football much. I don't get to. I live in Florida. Oh. You can still watch it. If you were really, truly a football fan, we'd have oh. uh, the, tat- or the tattoo channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's one of those too. <laughs> the old be. tattoo channel. It just is that on Dish? It, it pops up on your screen. <laughs> it's a pop up. Is it a Dish Network um, thing or? Um, let's see. I'll this file the... coming to this this file on Discovery. It's pop up tats. Um, Alejandro Cuen says this one is very cool. I'd like to see it printed on a black tee. Well, if you like this, you may also like our Jalopy Army t-shirt, because we do have that t-shirt. That's the shirt we have available, Alejandro. So let us know if you'd like that. You can order by going to johnnyjalopyllc at gmail.com or clicking the link from johnnyjalopy.com to our email and placing the order. But we do have the Jalopy Army t-shirt available, just the helmet and the, the guy's face. Um, Alejandro said RN4L. I don't know what that means. Draco says that's beginning to be painfully obvious, JJ. Um, Alejandro said I'll buy it. Thank you. Please email us, Alejandro. And we'll give you deets, details for the purchase. We have been using PayPal actually for our invoicing and it's been working really well. We haven't had anybody, maybe maybe two people over the last 10 years come back and say, this doesn't work for me. Can I send money a different way? Yeah, um, I don't know if they really, uh, if it was necessarily it was an issue with PayPal though. No, it wasn't an issue with PayPal. It was their, their inability to get online or whatever the case was. So um, it's been a super easy tool for people to use so we're going to continue to use it but that's how we do our invoicing so when you email your order to me i will invoice you through paypal and then you can pay that with a check or credit card or however you're going to do it oh alejandro said raider nation for life rn 4 l the show (laughs) um i actually used to be a raider that was my graduating class what we were called the Raiders. I know. So why are you shaking your head? It's hilarious. Why is it hilarious? It just is. I was a Raider. You like the Raider. How much more fate was that? Huh? Hey. <laughs> How are you guys digging this one? Likes and yeah. loves. Likes and loves. Digging, bro. Just a little bit. <laughs> I was a raider. I was. Again, you don't let me have my moment. Mm. I want to join in. I wasn't a football fan. Whose ball is that? Mine. Mm -hmm. Because my dad used to watch almost every game that was on. My brothers used to watch every game that was on. My sister's husband used to watch every game that was on. Nothing. Or is this Nothing. Like that? <laughs> Nothing. No? Why? I, because everybody was watching football, and I'm like, this is boring. Or baseball, and I'm like, this is boring. It wasn't until you brought me to my first baseball game that I really started liking baseball, even. Just goes to show you. Yeah. 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 Way to go, Phoebs. Matt said, will this make it onto a shirt? Matt bunts again. We do have the Johnny Jalopy, or we have the Jalopy Army shirt available. Um, it's not this whole design with the car. Or color. It's, it's just the um, helmet and the face with the tongue. Uh, we eventually will get some color stuff going, though, yeah. guys. We're right working, now, it's we're working still just on it because I'm trying white to, designs. to uh, see if I can get that kind of stuff going here. Draco said, uh, Is that a pack of cigarettes or cards? Uh, one side is pencils, the other side is crayons. Oh, nice. It's a little nod to the artiste. We still have, hanging him to see how this one turns out, 23 viewers. We've lost plenty. Well, 
<laughs> you want to know why? Cause oh, because I'm an arguing. Hour and twenty minutes. Oh, jeez. Because you're well, taking forever. This is what happens. I know. I feel like this started off very sketchy in the beginning when we started doing sketchy, and you have gotten way super detailed on stuff. On this one, you can't turn it off. So in his in his head, and I remember the first couple times you even did this, I said to you, "Less is more." Less is more. I'm not really even... I think it's not very detailed at all. I think it is. Where you do the detailing is this color blending and all that. But, I mean, people are digging it. People love it. Well, I'm trying to hurry now. Don Julio says, got that rat fink style me likes. Thank you. He likes That's it. That's the paint. You do have your own style, but I, I will say there are similarities, but that's what you grew up looking at, and that's what you used to love, you know? So, yeah, there's going to be some similarities. Oh, no, I know. I'm just saying. You know, when you're watching something or looking at something or reading something for that long of a period of time, it's going to be part of who you are and what you like and how you, yeah, I think how so. you draw. Yeah, I think so. I, d said, I definitely got my own style, though, I think. Yeah, I think you do. I, I mean, I can look at other people's stuff, and I can tell who, what's mine, what's somebody else's. Draco said started sketchy and went tipsy. The tipsy part's coming from. I don't know. Because you're spilling wine. Like this part, to me, when you, when you start doing the chrome, it's just crazy how it all comes together. I mean, it's it's literally shining. It's so cool. Likes and loves, guys. The more likes and loves we have, the more shares we get, uh, the more Facebook realizes that this is something worth seeing and um, may help us promote it easier by not blocking us every time we try and post something. Yeah, trying to do live feeds or whatever, they should yeah. let you have it. Right. So we do appreciate everybody that's been sharing, that's been telling your friends about this. Um, we love to do this on Monday nights with you guys. Johnny is super talented. He's got a slew of artwork available. If anybody's interested, please go to his page and check it out. Um, and again, that link you can reach from our newly developed webpage, johnnyjalopy.com. On that page, there are still, um, there's actually a photo as well of our hats that are available, which we just got a new order in up. So we have plenty of those for sale. Embroidered trucker hats, white and black with a snapback and the Johnny Jalopy logo on the front. And then we have the 13 t-shirt design, 14. 14 now? Uh, Gosh, I can't even keep track. We keep adding. I want to say 14, yes. I want to say 14 new t-shirt, or 14 t-shirt designs available with just some cool art and Again, when you get these orders from us, because we've had so many people order and send us photos, we love it. There's an album on Johnny's page of um, people either sporting the hat or sporting the shirt. Yep. Some of them at cool places. Uh, we had somebody from like Mount Rushmore send it and other countries are sending it. And um, it's a neat compilation in that album of everybody wearing jalopy gear. It's kind of cool. The jalopy army, as we call it. So... Keep those photos coming. Join now. Um, Don Julio wants to know what kind of tablet that is. The tablet is actually a Microsoft Surface book, and Johnny's using an app on there called Sketchable. And they've been super supportive of what Johnny's doing, too. They know that he is using this program every Monday night, and we do promote the program quite a bit. So they have uh, reposted some of his art on their page, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, Alejandro says, are you familiar with the Gorillas music videos with animation? If yes. so, what do you think of their I art? I love it. Well, there you have it. I think it's really cool. What kind of music is that? Um, like a rockabilly? Almost kind of... Huh? What is it? <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen it, which is why I was guessing. <laughs> I don't know what the gorillas music videos are with the animation. 
almost finished here. He's just putting on these finishing touches with the highlights. Oh, and the standard yellowed windshield. You'll see a lot of those in Johnny's designs as well. He likes the yellow tinted windshields and windows. Oh, Don Julio said that he has that on his tablet as well. Nice. Yeah, this was um, uh, a program that he stumbled across and started using. And at first, I don't know if you were completely on board with it, but um, after a few weeks of using it, he really took to it. And now it's really what we do every Monday night. Mm -hmm. Like he'll take this when we go on vacation and he'll be able to draw when we're out and away without having to load up a ton of paper and pens and rulers and whatever else he would have to use. So definitely an easier way to be creative on the road. The color blending is probably one of my favorite things to watch, just the way you make the colors show up in different ways and all these little highlights on it. and Very cool. Oh, there is some flamage happening. We still have 27 viewers waiting to see how this one turns out. We're at an hour, 26 minutes. Sorry we're running so long tonight, guys. We appreciate you hanging in with us. Everybody's staying up late, unless they're on the East Coast, and then it's staying up to a normal time. <laughs> <laughs> Let us send them in, G. <laughs> Way to be, Jobin. Right? <laughs> Definitely keep an eye on Johnny's page because we are going to be going live uh, possibly this weekend into next week. And we'll share some of our escapades while we're on vacation. So keep a lookout for that. Again, if anybody uh, appears to be on our route and wants to coordinate a meetup, let us know. And we'll see what we might be able to do. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be awesome. We are headed to the Santa Maria area in California, possibly Santa Barbara. Um, what's the other one? San Luis, LA. Yep, maybe LA. So, tons of opportunity to See us at a rest stop, perhaps. <laughs> I don't really know. I haven't driven up the coast like that. I've, only, I've been to L.A., but that was about it. San Diego, that was it. So I don't really know what's around there, places to meet up, but it would be neat. We'll bring some stickers with us, for sure. We're definitely going to have some stickers. And um, we will be filling up, uh, well, not filling, but we will be... Um, sending out invoices and stuff. If there are some orders, we just won't be able to print anything yeah, we'll be able to until we get back. Yeah, we'll be able to until we get back. Yeah. And in fact, anything ordered tonight, um, we'll, we'll do our best to try and get out because you have some time to maybe do that this week before we leave. So if you can get your orders in tonight and I can get these invoices for you and get them paid, it's uh, definitely possible that you will have them by next week if we can get them done. Before we leave. Otherwise, it's going to have to wait until after the Labor Day holiday. Um, let's see. Lizzie said, I stay up late all the time until my older son gets home from work. Okay. So we are just killing time for you. Nice. She's wishing us both a safe trip. Thank you. Um, Alejandro said, would you ever consider animating for a cartoon if someone offered it to you? Maybe. Yeah. Nobody has. Nobody has offered just yet. <laughs> that would be a neat opportunity, though. Sure. Would you, if you were doing that, you think you'd miss drawing cars, though? I mean, realistically, I mean, if you're, if they were, if they knew my artwork, they would be wanting me to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Stuff that's related to that type of artwork because otherwise I'd be probably pretty disappointed because that's my deal. Right. 
This came out super cool. I like the green outline. Fantastic job as always, babe. Thanks, babe. Thanks for hanging in with me as always. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, because I didn't just look it up and go to bed. Yeah, you're right. Oh my God. <laughs> Someone's going to spank in after this. Oh, nice. 24 viewers still yeah, hanging in. Sign it up and. Signing it up and I'll come around. Awesome, awesome. 31 in the books, peeps. In the books. <laughs> what? You. Why? It is hilarious. Why? In the books, peeps. I'm excited. You are excited. I'm excited about the books. You must be. <laughs> a lot of books. A lot of books. A lot Whoa. of excitement. Just hit that. I can't sit next to you because there's not enough room. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. That didn't work out well, did it? There you go. I'll scoot over. Okay. All right. There you go. Finished. Where'd you go? I'm here. Oh, hi. Hi. Ah, there you go. Episode 31. 31. That's a long one. Books. Man, that's, that took way too long. But thanks for hanging out with us and watching and checking it out and listening to the baloney. Silliness. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you're uh, if you're in the California area, why am I hooked up here? I don't know. If you're in the California area and you like to hang out with Eddie B and Johnny Jalopy, run us an email at johnnyjalopygmail.com. Maybe we can meet up somewhere and uh, do a little meetup type thing. It'd be kind of fun. Uh, a this is a print is available fifteen bucks. Um, we have t-shirts, hats new and now in stock. Uh, lots of cool stuff going on. Show so, me shirt. Oh, of course, this is a Johnny Jalopy shirt, the Eye Guy shirt. Nice. Check it out, the Eye Guy shirt. You can own one of these yourself. That's like one of my favorite ones. Yes. So those are twenty five bucks, and they come in anywhere from small to three uh, X black uh, gilded shirt. So hit us up if you'd like to own one. We've got lots of cool stuff. Hit the, the website, johnnyjalopy.com. What? Well, I've got used to saying that. It's because it's late. I know. Tired. Yeah. And uh, so have a super week. We'll see you guys soon. Itty B. Johnny Jalopy. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. This was sketchy. Don't forget to watch for the page because we're going to be doing some live stuff. Oh yeah, we'll be doing some live feeds in uh, California. Introducing you to some new peeps yeah, probably. Probably it's the starting of maybe the podcast. What? You're about to ready to You were going to say some Was stuff. I? Yeah, I could tell. Was I? Yeah. Are we still live? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you not I can't get